From Atlin to Zabalos, there are 1,386 school names in this province. Most are named for communities, neighborhoods, or local geographic markers. But when you crunch the numbers, 358 of them are explicitly named for people, 94% of whom are white, 79% of whom are men, and some of whom have dark histories. He ran concentration camps. It's a pretty black and white kind of a thing. Ian Rowe is the PAC chair at Lord Roberts Elementary, a school in Vancouver's West End. A British field marshal, Roberts did run concentration camps in the Boer War. Rowe said a survey of parents showed 90% in favor of a name change. Lord Roberts has an amazing community. It's an amazing school. We've got great principal, teachers, parents, the whole bit. People who've been coming here for years have done great work. And that has nothing to do with what it's called. So it's helping people to separate the name of the thing with the place. There are controversial school names across BC. In Creston, Prince Charles Elementary had its name changed just weeks ago. But these debates center around Vancouver. Yes, some schools here are named for neighborhoods or famous British Columbians, but more are named for lords and queens and British prime ministers. 26 named for prominent Brits in total, compared to 13 in the rest of the province combined. The Vancouver School Board is changing the names of schools. Capay Elementary was named for a Prince Edward Island tobacco merchant just a few years ago before its name was changed. But the question for some is whether they're moving fast enough. I have heard feedback that it's a very slow process and quite closed in that it isn't really about community or public engagement. Jennifer Reddy is a school board trustee who helped approve the future name changes of Begbie and Lloyd George Elementary Schools earlier this year as part of the board's pilot program. But she argues renaming shouldn't be done on a piecemeal basis. Folks are eager. This is a real time of change. And if we don't show the leadership to actually review the names wholesale, I feel like we're missing an opportunity to engage a wider public dialogue. But even if you believe schools should have their name changed, the question becomes, what's the new name? Roe believes it should be the same convention used in cities like Burnaby or Victoria. They're just like the names of the neighborhoods, which honestly was useful as a person to know where to go for like the soccer game or the fundraiser or whatever. And you come here and it's all like Lord so-and-so or Queen this or Sir whatever. And it's super bizarre. That's the debate at Lord Roberts, but similar ones are happening all across British Columbia, meaning the only thing certain about BC school names is that they'll be debated long into the future. Justin McElroy, CBC News. Vancouver.